still wants Tola's boots. Yeah, it makes no sense. It's like... Uh... Don't even try. I was at this for hours last night. Thought I had one, but I didn't. Turns out a hat with no top is just a visor. Are you thinking of caving in on this? I'm worried. Taylor has started seeing me as the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> I just love that necklace on you. Thank you. I think it'll look even better on you. How did I get so lucky? <laughs> <laughs> Why can't Taylor and I be like that? You can. My kids and I are that close. We hug six times a day. Ugh, what a load of garbage. Parents and children need boundaries. Otherwise, they won't fear or respect you. Nah, I disagree. I let my kids do whatever they want as long as I'm there to supervise. And it'll be the same when they get older. They want to have sex, they can do it at my house while I'm home. There has to be a middle ground between lifelong bitterness and listening to your kids hump. You know, I read in Parenting Magazine that mothers and daughters go on friend dates now to bond. It's a fun way to spend time together, no judgments, and you get to establish a new relationship where you see each other as equals. Hey! More garbage! You know, Greg said I should do something like mother-daughter date night. But ideas just sound better coming from someone else. Mm. I don't know, Katie. You'll be setting a dangerous precedent that could lead to your kids coming back to visit after they've already moved out. That's exactly what I want. Yeah, that's what you think now. But imagine yourself 30 years older and your kids are yelling at you in your own home for watching TV because screens are bad for the baby. I'm watching Game of Thrones and so is the baby. They need to learn about violence and love. <laughs>